Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can download and install XAMPP and how we can run our XAMPP server and run our first website. First, go to this URL. I'll have this link in the description below and click on any PHP version that you like. So it, it won't matter much because these are very close versions. So I'll just download this one 8.0. Click on download. So the download should automatically start after a while and it's downloading here. So let's wait till this download is complete. Once the download is complete, just click on open file. If you get a message that says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just click on yes. And now your installation wizard will open. The wizard is open. When you get this message, just click on OK. Click next. And these are the files that will be installed automatically. You can scroll down to see whatever is there. Click next. Click next. And we will use English language. If you want to use any other language, click on that. Click next again. and installation will start let's wait till the installation is complete once the installation is complete let's press the windows key and type XAMPP and you will see this XAMPP control panel click on this to open it and XAMPP control panel will open now here these two things that is Apache and MySQL are of interest to us Apache is the web server and MySQL is the database if I start Apache now our Apache server is running and as you can see the XAMPP installation directory is c slash XAMPP. So all our websites needs to be placed inside that folder. So if I go to C and XAMPP, I'll see an SGDocs folder here. Go inside this and let's create a new folder, which is called, let's say, my website. So all your websites should be inside this SGDocs folder. Now inside here, let's create a file simple. Uh, I'll just call it index.html. And let's just write a simple HTML code here and let's see how we can run it. If I write hello world and save it and close it. So keep in mind that this is the folder that will be, this is the directory where your websites are and you can access it using your browser by just typing your local host that is 127.0.0.1 and then your website name. So my web folder name was my website, right? Hit enter and as you can see hello world is printed so this is your local host that represents your machine and then you write your website folder name and your website is open now if you want to access mysql server you need to start the mysql server and you can access the server using phpMyAdmin. admin so again this is the local host and then type phpMyAdmin admin and hit enter and now as you can see you can access databases here we have these databases by default and you can create databases and manage databases from phpMyAdmin. So this is how you can install and set up XAMPP. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.